this area to spend some more time, more staff time, more community time on looking at it. So public meeting phase one, we're at the March 2nd, the survey and uh, results workshop. We'd like to do a workshop in May on a focus area and then come back at a date to be determined with a follow-up on that and then do a liaison meeting to wrap up this first stage of the plan. So I have a question to you. I've heard a lot of trails today. I've heard a lot of walking, um, some of the transit. Would people be interested in doing walking tours of the Prince Frederick Town Center area? Sure. I mean, like, in the, it's almost spring, so sometime in the next month or two, doing walking tours and actually walk the town. All right. Mm -hmm. I heard that there was a Boy Scout in the, at least a Boy Scout leader in the group, and possibly a hiking tour of the uh, river to the bay. Maybe not all 12 miles round trip, but maybe three, four, five miles, perhaps. Well, maybe we could arrange for a shuttle for a, a one-way six miles. Uh, you, you should shuttle between um, the Danny entrance yeah. and, uh, and Double. We can work out the details, but is there interest in hiking the trail? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Just one, just for people to get more. How many people have actually walked the trail? Not many. So part of it's just become more familiar with Prince Frederick Town Center. Now, bicycling tour. Interested in maybe biking the town center? A little bit? Yeah. Bicycling the town center. We can say swim the town center, but we're not going to get very far on that. And then bus tour. For those that may not be interested in hiking or biking, we actually do a bus tour of the town center to look at the areas. Um, I'm seeing people nodding yes. So over the next couple months, we'll be arranging for these tours. We might be asking some of you present to actually be some of the tour guides to help us out. So input, we're looking at input at these public meetings as being uh, Facebook Live, and so it'll be also up on the county's website. Sharing ideas, both in person and the questions we did this evening are going to be posted up on the county's website. We'll be sending out news flashes and Facebook posts. So the same questions that you went through tonight, if you want to provide individual responses, you're welcome to, but also to let your friends and neighbors um, to know that they have the opportunity to put their input in through that. Hopefully, I'm not... I can't promise, but perhaps by Friday, but we will look, put the word out on when that is up and we'll get at least two weeks to respond. And then um, later on, when we get to the public hearings with the planning commission and county commissioners, that's another opportunity to participate. The county's website has updates. You can also receive notices by signing up for the notify me and uh, selecting planning and zoning and then following on Facebook. I would be remiss if I didn't say something about the 2020 census, and this pen was already up here, so this is just coincidence, but it's census 2020. Shape your future. So we do want everybody counted in the county, and we especially want everybody in Prince Frederick County. So you'll be receiving information from the uh, Census Bureau later this month, so do participate. These are the historically undercounted groups. For some reason, people forget to put their children under age five on their census form. So we're making special outreach with that. We're working with the libraries and the, and the public schools. These are the lower five areas of the counties uh, for participation rate that's predicted as low response by the Census Bureau. Includes Prince Frederick, North Beach, Chesapeake Beach, Lesby, and Barstow. And in 20, 2020, sorry, year 2000, we were at 76 response rate. That bumped up to 80%. Is Guthrie still in the house? Yes. Belfry, what's our goal for 2020? 90%. 90%, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so the 90% goal was actually Belfry's goal, and so we hope that we all uh, get counted to reach that goal. So I just want to say thank you for your time, and I'm going to pass the baton over to Dr. Holler to do the final closing. And we have the mics actually in the back, Dr. Holler. No, I think I can talk loud enough <laughs> as an ex-school teacher. <clears throat> I really was impressed tonight, and I really thank you very much as fellow citizens for coming out here. 
Uh, I think the uh, uh, number of points where there was commonality among the four groups was very impressive to me, and I think the staff should get a message from that, that there's more unanimity here than there is difference. Uh, I also think that in preparation for tonight, I certainly want to say thanks to the staff. Yeah. Th this is, and I say that respectfully, <coughs> this is well organized, it's easy to follow, and I think this is a real tribute to the staff here. Uh, <laughs> and on behalf of the Planning Commission, uh, we hope you will continue your interest, that you'll participate <coughs> as outlined here. We are interested in your views. We're interested in where you want to go and where you want this community to go. Thank you.